so guys let us do the quick analysis of cbse 10th paper which took place on 7th of march so uh, if you compare the paper with last year's paper it was a slightly easier paper but overall a very beautifully designed moderate paper i would say so let us do section wise detailed analysis of the paper so if i talk about section a majority of the questions are easy so out of six five problems i have kept in the easy section and only one problem i am keeping in moderate second uh, moderate section now uh, if you talk about section b so section b is again a very beautiful mixture of easy and moderate problems to agar aap average students hain to section a and section b aapko kafi easy lagenge but the most difficult part of the paper was section c because section c was a mixture of moderate and difficult problems so only one or two problems i have kept in the easy section otherwise half of the problems i have kept in difficult section and uh, many of the problems are in moderate section now if you talk about section d so section d was again a balance of moderate and difficult problem so in section d i have kept one question in easy section four in moderate and three i am keeping in difficult section so overall it was a balanced paper for average student for below average student and for the intelligent student so now let us see the distribution of total marks among easy medium and difficult sections so out of 80 marks 21 marks i have kept in easy section 39 marks i have kept in moderate section to so almost aadhe marks jo the wo moderate level ke questions ko allotted the and 20 marks were allotted to difficult section so this is why i told you it was a balanced paper because balanced paper isi tarike se banta hai ki aadhe marks aap uske moderate ya average level ko allot karte ho then 25% to the easy section and roughly 25% to the difficult section so now let us look at the topics from where the difficult questions were asked or you can say tricky questions were asked so firstly circle there was a very beautiful problem asked from the circle which was slightly tricky and uh, two constructions were required in that problem then one good question was there from height and distance one good question uh, was there from the probability they asked the reverse question of the probability one very beautifully designed problem of volume from topic area and volume and one very good question from the similarity of triangles because now let us look at those problems jo aapko exam mein dekhne mein difficult lag sakti hai lekin conceptually ya jab aap unhe solve karenge jab aap unke solution dekhenge to aapko itni difficult problems lagegi nahi to trigonometry se ek bahut hi acha question unhone pucha to aapko dekhne mein difficult lag sakta hai but conceptually wo bahut hi easy problem tha we'll discuss that problem now there were uh, there was a problem related to hcf and lcm wo bhi ek kafi aasan question tha quadratic equation se kuch questions directly puche gaye the but ek problem word problem unhone bahut hi acha pucha tha jisme aapko pehle quadratic equation ko form karna hai aur fir aapko uska solution find karna hai linear equation ki property se bahut acche questions पूछे गए थे आपको पता होना चाहिए था कि क्या प्रॉपर्टीज होती हैं कब सोल्यूशन यूनिक होता है कब नहीं होता है so now i am going to discuss few problems which i personally like than the paper so the first problem which i am going to discuss is problem based on probability so i like this problem because in this problem the probabilities are given to you and numbers uh, you are supposed to calculate so if you read the problem so the probability of getting a blue ball is 1 by 5 and the probability of getting a black ball is 1 by 4 and number of green balls are 11 now you are supposed to calculate total number of balls so uh, just recall the definition of probability what is the probability of finding a blue ball it will be number of blue ball upon total so let's assume number of blue balls are x and number of black balls are 
white so what is the probability of getting blue balls it will be x upon x plus y plus 11 because total number of balls is, balls are x plus y plus 11 so it is given to you 1 upon 5 so you will get one equation in x and y from this and the same thing you are supposed to do for black balls so what will be the probability of getting a black ball it will be y upon x plus y plus 11 which is equal to 1 upon 4 so you will have one more relationship between x and y so just solve these two equations to calculate x and y so if you calculate and add x y and 11 so the total number of balls come out to be 20 okay so next problem which i am taking is based on the concept of lcm so you have given two numbers uh, which are 306 and 657 and now you are supposed to find the smallest number which is divisible by both so in dono se divisible ho aapko smallest number nikalna hai to wo kya hoga in dono ka lcm so lcm nikalne ke liye kya karna hota hai you just find out the prime factors to aap 306 ke prime factors find kar lijiye 657 ke prime numbers uh, prime factors find kar lijiye and using prime factors you find out the lcm and the lcm will be the smallest number which is divisible by both the given numbers so the next problem I am taking that is related to concept of area So paper ke andar two problems aaye the and both were almost uh, same so I am taking one problem out of uh, the two questions so if you look at this question you are supposed to find out the area of shaded region so here you see a quarter circle hai. so what is the area of complete circle it is pi r square so quarter circle ka area kitna hoga? pi r square by 4 area of square is side square so shaded region ka area kya hoga? the area of shaded region is area of quarter circle minus the area of square so area of square will be side square side of uh, the square is given to you which is 15 so area of square is 15 square now area of circle is pi r square by 4 but aapko wo diya nahi hai to jo diagonal hoga square ka wo hi yahan pe kya hai radius hai jo quarter circle diya hai aapko uski so what is the diagonal of square it is root 2 times the side of square to side hai 15 to yahan pe diagonal kitna aayega it will be 15 root 2 to radius bhi kitni hogi quarter circle ki it is 15 root 2 so if you find out the area of quarter circle which is pi into r square upon 4 to r is 15 root 2 and subtract the area of square from the area of quarter circle you will get the area of shaded region so this problem i am taking from the topic area and volume so in this a uh, iron pole is consists of two cylinders now what is the volume of cylinder it is pi into r square into h so aapko radius and height dono cylinders ka yahan pe given hai to aapko bas formula mein value substitute karni hai aur volume calculate karna hai so if you calculate the uh, volume of bigger cylinder it will be pi into r square into height of bigger cylinder plus uh, pi into r square into h of small cylinder so in this way you can calculate the total volume of iron pole now you are supposed to calculate total mass so to calculate total mass the mass of unit volume is given to you so multiply that by the total volume so you will get the total mass of the iron pole okay so now one very good problem uh, related to polynomials so in this question aapko diya hua hai polynomial aur bola hai ye completely divisible hai 3x square minus 5 se so you have to find out the value of k to completely divisible ka matlab hota hai jo remainder bachega wo kitna hoga it will be जीरो तो आप रिमाइंडर कितना बच रहा है वो फाइंड आउट करो तो जो प्रोसेस है डिवीजन का वो बहुत सिंपल है आप फर्स्ट टर्म को जिससे आप डिवाइड कर रहे हो उसकी फर्स्ट टर्म से डिवाइड करो देन इसको मल्टीप्लाई करके आप सबट्रैक्ट करते हो सो यू नो द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिवीजन एंड इफ यू रिपीट दिस प्रोसेस जब तक आपके पास रिमाइंडर नहीं बच जाता तो यहां पे इस क्वेश्चन में आपका जो रिमाइंडर बच रहा है वो कितना है इट इज 
k प्लस टेन और ये कंप्लीटली डिविजिबल है इसका मतलब क्या है कि रिमाइंडर क्या होना चाहिए इट शुड बी जीरो सो इफ यू इक्वेट k प्लस टेन टू जीरो इट कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस टेन सो इफ k इज माइनस टेन देन द गिवन पॉलिनोम इज कंप्लीटली डिविजिबल बाय थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव Okay, so second problem which I am taking is based on the uh, linear equations. So if you look at this problem, two equations are given to you in x and y, and आपको k की value निकालनी है तब जब इन दोनों equations का सिर्फ एक unique solution हो, तो आपने condition पढ़ी होगी कि अगर infinite solution होते हैं या no solution होता है, तब क्या होता है? जो a1 वन अपॉन ए होता है वो इक्वल होता है b1 वन अपॉन बी के और यूनिक सोल्यूशन होता है तब a1 वन अपॉन ए टू शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू बी वन अपॉन बी तो आप दोनों गिवन इक्वेशंस को कंपेयर करो ax एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी से सो यू विल गेट दी वैल्यूज ऑफ a1 वन सो ए आपका कितना आ गया वन ए आपका आएगा थ्री B1 वन विल बी टू एंड बी क्या होगा K एंड आपको K की वो वैल्यू बतानी है जिसके लिए इन इक्वेशन का यूनिक सोल्यूशन हो सो लेट एस यूज दी प्रॉपर्टी दैट ए वन अपॉन ए टू शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू बी वन अपॉन बी टू सो वन अपॉन थ्री शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू टू अपॉन के इट मीन्स के शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू सिक्स सो के कैन टेक एनी वैल्यू अदर देन सिक्स and the last problem which i will be discussing uh, in this discussion is a problem related to the arithmetic progression aur ye tn ka jo n term ka formula hota hai uske upar based ek bahut hi acha question hai so aapko first question mein pucha hai ki jo given sequence hai iske andar minus 82 kaun si term hogi so what is the formula for n term so tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into b a is given to you it is minus 7 b kaise nikaloge aap it will be minus 12 minus minus 7 so d kya hoga second term minus first term to yahan pe common difference jo hai wo aa jayega aapka minus 5 aapko nth term di hui hai nth term kya bola hai kaun si honi chahiye it should be minus 82 aur aapko nikalna hai wo kaun si term hai it means you are supposed to calculate the value of n so if you just substitute the given uh, thing इन दी फॉर्मुला ऑफ टी एन सो टी एन आपको दिया है माइनस एटी टू ए इज माइनस सेवन डी इज माइनस फाइव इफ यू सोल्व दिस इक्वेशन फॉर एन यू गेट एन एस सिक्सटीन तो सिक्सटीन टर्म इज प्रोग्रेशन की क्या होगी यहां पर माइनस एटी टू और इसी में आपको एक और प्रॉब्लम पूछिए कि क्या माइनस हंड्रेड इस प्रोग्रेशन का सीरीज का पार्ट होगा तो आप वापस से टी एन को कितना रखो माइनस हंड्रेड सो माइनस हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन एंड टू डी सो ए इज माइनस सेवन डी इज माइनस फाइव एंड कैलकुलेट एन तो आप ऐसा सॉल्व करोगे इसको तो यहां पे एन जो है वो क्या आएगा एक फ्रैक्शन आएगा इंटीजर नहीं आएगा तो कोई भी टर्म एनर टर्म की बात कर रहे हो तो वो फ्रैक्शन में नहीं आ सकता या तो वो फर्स्ट टर्म होनी चाहिए टेंथ टर्म होनी चाहिए सिक्सटीन टर्म होनी चाहिए कोई फ्रैक्शन में टर्म नहीं आएगा सो व्हाट वी कैन से दैट माइनस हंड्रेड इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सो आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द सी बोर्ड फॉर कंडक्टिंग वेरी गुड पेपर फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स आई होप आप सभी ने पेपर को बहुत अच्छे से पढ़ा होगा बहुत अच्छे से किया होगा ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फ्रॉम टीम स्पीड लैब्स फॉर योर upcoming examinations